We'll start with the Mustard R43, uh, three extra long dry fly hook. This is the Wonder Wing Caddis. So, let me just put some tying thread on. I'm going to go all the way back to about there. Remove that. Then what we need is uh, some deer hair. Now, this deer I shot in the month of September and you can might be able to see that the winter cut hasn't fully grown out so there's a lot of shorter hairs down here with the points down here and then the longer hairs with the points up here. It's useless for spinning or stacking or winging so I use this for dubbing. So what we do is we cut a small bunch of that off just like this you don't have to remove the under fur or anything and we just want to really mash it up in between your fingers you can pull it from each other to make it a bit shorter and just rub it so it looks like this so what I'll do here now depending on what tying thread you're using you need to uh, uh, I prefer using a dubbing loop on this because the deer hair is not that easy to uh, to spin when you split the thread the thread's not strong enough really so what we do now is we just take a little bit at a time and that squashed deer hair pull it out so it's not in too big bunches that'll do us there and then we we'll spin that up it's a very simple technique and then once it's spun up you can start pulling out the thicker parts just remove them if there's too big a lump or anything else in there that you don't like there we go that will do us fine so what we can do now is we can start winding this up start at the back and we'll work our way forward don't worry too much about uh, your tying thread there we'll just go forward with this to about there and we can come back tie off the dubbing loop and remove it We'll just take a dubbing needle now just to open the fibers up of the deer hair dubbing there we go then a brush that's looking more or less perfect want to trim off the top just like that trim off the longest hairs that's perfect now we want to go just a wee bit further back into the deer hair and we need a couple of CDC hackles put them to the same length and we want these on top two or three looser, looser turns and then we can pull these through to the right length and tie them down that's that now we want a caddis wonder wing which are these little things here Take one of these, we want it to go past the body just a wee bit, like that. We tie that down. That 
that's looking right. So we'll just remove that. Take our tying thread forward. Then we need two moose body hairs. Bring these up to the same length. And we tie these in just above the hook eye. We go back. Pull those off. We want another dubbing loop here. Not so big this time. Go forward again. Take our dubbing spinner. A little bit more of the deer hair dubbing. Spin that up. Light again, any heavy bits. There we go. Then we can wind this on. Tie off the dubbing loop. Remove it. Out the way of the eye. Whip finish tool. Remove the tying thread. Any super long hairs you can just pull off, trim off. Take our dubbing needle and the two moose hairs. Just get those right. You can see there's a bit of CDC at each side coming down. Absolutely perfect. And that's it. That's the Wonderwing caddis. Thanks for watching.